My name is Nicolas Di Lorenzo. I'm an associate professor at the University of Florida uh, at the North Florida Research and Education Center and specialized in beef cattle nutrition and management. The reason why uh, Southern Cattle or any other producer that is interested in using this facility is the ability to identify superior animals, superior genetic within a cohort of cattle by using the technology that we have. Feed efficiency, it's a way to measure the efficiency of an animal in converting feed into pounds of beef. Uh, feed represents one of the largest costs of any cattle operation, so it is very important to identify those animals that are superior in terms of converting pounds of feed into pounds of beef and be able to select those to stay in the herd so that overall we can improve the profitability of cattle operations. For example, the program that, that we are uh, running with Southern Cattle Company here where they will send us bulls to uh, perform a test for 56 days. And, and the program is customized to each operation. In the case of Southern uh, Cattle Company, we uh, target a desired average daily gain to avoid excessive growth in the bulls, especially excessive fat deposition. At the end of that 56 day period, uh, what uh, Southern Cattle Company get will be an electronic information on all the animals that were sent and how much feed each one of them consumed and what was that conversion of feed into beef. Carcass scanning or, or carcass ultrasound, what we do is we perform ultrasonography on the carcass of the animals while they're alive and restrained in the shoot. And the main parameters that we looked at that is ribeye area, which is one of the most important muscles that we carry in the carcass, uh, marbling, which is the amount of fat that is deposited intramuscularly, and fat depth, which tells us an idea of the degree of finishing of that animal. Basically, it's almost like taking a photo of the size of the animal, and then we can later process that in the laboratory and look at how big is that muscle of great economic importance, what is the marveling of that muscle, and what is the degree of finishing that that animal have or have potentially could have. A producer that is buying bulls that have been uh, tested for feed efficiency and those bulls are superior are buying a, a genetically superior animal that once incorporated into the herds is going to start transferring that a superior genetic material to the offspring, which ultimately is what uh, uh, it makes a, a beef cattle operation successful. So a producer, for example, buying a bull that has been tested for feed efficiency will have the ability to know that that animal has an, uh, an added value in terms of another bull from the same cohort that will allow them to convert more pounds of feed into pounds of beef.